The 80s are back. Having maybe a small beer? Yeah. This is what we do in Germany? That's a thing in America. They say Germans can't say squirrel properly. Squirrel. 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 Oh, yes. I didn't hear. Eich? Eich? Exactly. Kernchen. Kernchen. Perfect. <laughs> Some say 300 kilometers an hour is very fast, <laughs> but they've never been to Germany. <laughs> So this will probably be my last driving adventure here in Germany, uh, but not in my car. The registration is now over with. So, yes, the 80s are back, but not in Miami just to try to pretend to look cool. The 80s are back to go fast in Germany. Yes, what are you thinking? About what? Today, this car, the Kunta. Today, I would say it couldn't get much better. I agree. I We're, would say. We go for a drive and have a yeah, break. Yeah, exactly. A nice yeah, have, have a break, having, Having maybe a small beer. Yeah. This is what we do in Germany. We do know? that to celebrate the good day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And good. and I'm but but we, we see that the 80s were good and Lamborghini was still still uh, uh, building great cars uh, in in nowadays. So wouldn't yes. say the the past wasn't that much better. Yes. Well, I'm very excited as you guys may know. I had a Countach long ago. Never got to enjoy it as much as I would have liked. But today, the best the downdraft Weber carburetor Kuntash in Germany. Let's go! But only one. Oh cool. Wait, what is this? I don't know. Only one? It's like the steak. You know, on top here they always have funny music. Yeah, of course. <laughs> in America we call this yacht rock. Do you know what I mean? They're like smooth music from the 80s when you yeah. were rich and wearing like Can colors. you hold the steering wheel? Yeah. Okay, we are ready. Good. This is a very fresh Countach. It's very nice. One owner from you, I yep. got that pack of invoices. Yeah. Like I told you, we are drivers, not collectors. That's true. Time is time is too valuable to only collect. What's the point of life if all you do is collect a car? Uh, I would say once you only have a car for for the value, not for driving anymore. Right. So we have the Rolls, the SLS, this one, and the Mercy. That's it. Yeah, I have too many cars. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Maybe it's bad that I come to Germany and have such a good time in the Mercy Lago that I want to sell my Porsche to buy a Calpa. Yeah, please do so. Okay. I love that Jeremy Clarkson speaking about this thing. Some say. Some say his left nipple is in the shape of the Nürburgring. <laughs> John Tamari is sometimes telling that this is a real driver's car like a go-kart, but to be honest, I think he never drove a go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> because whenever I hear an American say it drives like a go-kart, I know they know nothing about cars. Yeah, yeah. Because no car not, drives like a go-kart. This is a, a heavy car. Yeah. yeah. This is even feeling heavier than a Murcielago. Or yeah. how, how Jeremy is calling it, the Murcielago. I remember power sliding mine in traffic. What? Yeah, my Kuntash. Was an accident or? Because to be honest, I'm not that familiar with the car already that I would say I do a power slide. I would not do it with anybody else's car, but yeah, I came out of there quick and it let loose enough and it, it it's not, well, look at you, you're drifting your Murcielago the other day. Okay, but that's way easier, I would say. I don't know, way. this is only two wheel drive. Yeah, of course, correct. And it's harder to get fresh tires. <laughs> no, I got one set really? of them. Yeah, provided by, please, if you need tires, call Butler. Butler is a provider of very nice tires. You're not sponsored them. by Butler. Do, <laughs> do, do, do tell them, win wiki code, you get 95% off. The John, the John Timarian late night show. He's looking like an animal, yeah. of which I don't know the name, but Steph told you. What kind of animal? Living on trees like... A monkey? No, not a monkey, that small one looking like a mouse. A squirrel. What? A squirrel. Yeah. Oh, that's a thing in America. 
They say Germans can't say squirrel properly. Squirrel. 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 What do you call a squirrel here? Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen? Eichhörnchen. Ice. Oh shit, what? Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen? Eichhörnchen. Hörnchen? Wait, I didn't hear. Eich? Eich? Exactly. Hörnchen. Hörnchen. Perfect. Ja. <laughs> we, do, we do 180 kilometers now. Yeah. 90, which feels like we are as fast as 300. I know it does. <laughs> it's very smooth. That's the nice thing about older cars. You don't have to go as crazy to feel crazy. Yeah. Of course, on this one, you really have to check the temperature. Oh yeah. I still pay attention to all my gauges regularly. I forgot I've got super cool spy glasses with cameras in them. Oh yeah. You know, wow, this look. sticks well with these tires. My tires were never this good on like Vintage. And this is the old set of tires. Really? Yeah, of course. Imagine how cool this was in the 1980s. <laughs> I, I have VHS cassettes yep. from my dad back then. Yeah. And you can see Valentino with a face pussy. <laughs>
it's uh, more dangerous, more difficult. It's way difficult. Kuntash ride I've ever been in and probably has existed anymore and that you're a very good driver until after it was over because I didn't want to make you more excited than you were. No, no, really, <laughs> to be honest, when I was 25, I would have tried to, to kill us. So 
drive car in Dutch. He, no, no, I'm not that far with him now. We are not like that friends that you are with your with Lucilago Lucilago, yeah. already. And uh, the car is that fast, and for the suspension and the brake and the whole package, the engine is too good for the car. It is, but no one drives this well on a Countach in America anymore. Nobody. Really? I, maybe there might be two people in America that will drive a Countach like this. Maybe. They'll, the guy, they'll go out and say they do, but they don't. They don't know. They don't know. Well, we have to get out, so I don't have to smell your feet anymore, with no shoes. We have to get out. This is the best door. Oh, good idea. The window. I know. That's all it is. <laughs> do you know for what? That uh, when you have to pay, you we have to. Right. Yeah. No. No. Down here. Uh, down left. Then right. Yes. When you have to pay for the uh, highway in yeah. Europe, this is how much you need. <laughs> Not very good for that. We turn right. Oh, this feels like home. <laughs> Yeah, I directly can see that you have driven these cars before and that you are really able to drive. 
Right. Yeah. yeah. I so mean, this is not. This is just it's, it's normal. It's not that not easy what you do now. No. No. Like, many people that is not possible to do. This requires intelligence. You know. And exactly. a little muscle. And control of your own emotions. It, it needs to be fun, but not crazy. Exactly. That is it for our adventures in Lamborghinis in Germany with Alex Hess here. How was the day? Uh, insane. Awesome. Let's yeah. call it like that. It was fantastic. It's doing what car guys should. We had an unbelievably beautiful drive through the forests and the mountains there in the Kuntash like it's supposed to be. Yeah, I would say I didn't understand the question because of you, you knew what we, are, what we were doing. Yeah, of course. Some minutes ago. Yeah. But it was Enjoying the drive with a... Yeah, when it was fun to just Manly go V12. park it and sit and look over the beautiful valley and just have a talk. Having a nice talk, to be honest. Nice Life. conversation. This is what cars are supposed to be. Just go enjoy them by ourselves just for the sake of cars and making friends and a good time in Germany. But um, thank you so much for letting me drive it and ride it. It's a privilege and it was uh, brought back good old memories there. And uh, You I, did it quite well, to be honest. It was okay? Very well. Okay. Yeah. I could have gone Good faster, face. but not my Good car. Thing. It's been a little while. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Very of course. respectful. So my car is now back. He's happy, safe, still as beautiful as before, but now with a new relationship. You are friends already. Yeah, very much it. so. Yeah. Very much so. So I was the faster one of the two of us by a little margin for yeah, a brief time. Yeah, I, I, I would say uh, five you, kilometers. Like yeah, you, you went 300 kilometers the other yeah, day. Yeah, and, and, and I went maybe 305. Yeah, it was like teasing me all the day to see that 300 in my display. Yeah. It would say, hey, you are German. And you, you say that a 300 is fast, but we are in Germany on yes. German highways in a Murcielago. Yeah, but yesterday, but you, uh, it was so funny because, um, what did we do? We, did we go get dinner or something? And then we had to put the cars home? We stopped for a little to bit and relaxed. That was a nice Maybe day gas? and it was that fast uh, over, but I... Let me think about what did we do before? We, we slowed down and then we were just going to go put the cars back in a short distance. So we're driving. Yeah, it was yeah, night exactly. time. We're, yeah. We were at the hotel to take the keys. Oh yeah, get the keys. Yeah. The so that's what we are what so we were, were doing. Driving back to park the cars or park yours. And we get on the highway and I'm following along. It's a short drive. And we both accelerate to maybe 130 <laughs> miles per hour. So what, maybe 230 kilometers? I don't know. No big deal. And uh, you had a little bit of room because we were tired. Yeah. I was thinking, okay, yeah, we put I, the cars back. I was back. tired, but I've seen that, that number in the display and thought that, that, well, that could it, couldn't it that be? That can't be enough. Yeah, no, yes. they really, it's that like... What you did? I need it. I know, but wait, so I have to tell a story. So we go out here and there's a little room and then somebody comes over in the left lane in front of me. So I have to wait for a moment until they move. And then I accelerate it again, but you were gone, vanished. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit! did he get off? I don't really know where I am. I know the city's name. So I'm, I, I accelerate, maybe I'm doing 160 miles an hour. You're nowhere. I see nothing. I thought I'd catch you. And I'm like, oh crap. So I see the name for the city and I'm like, the city's not very big. So I'll just get off here. <laughs> yeah. And then I see waiting for me a long time later. And I was even standing on the, on the exit lane. Yeah, I know. You got out? No, I car? was standing there. Oh my God. Waiting. <laughs> He's like Jeremy Clarkson reading a book because uh, you, went, you, you got the car to what speed? 327 kilometers an hour. So that's maybe 209 miles an hour maybe? Can be correct, and that is even less than the official high speed of the Murcielago. It'll definitely faster. And you know, faster. with the words of Jeremy Clarkson, maybe maybe you would say, some say, 300 kilometers an hour is very fast. 
but they've never been to Germany. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I was just going home to put the cars away. And we have to say that was loud on that. On on that. It was good. Uh, 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 a part of the. Highway. It was unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I think with the power it has, it's it's gear limited. If it had another gear. It would go even faster. I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, we have to have a, a Fast and Furious gearbox in it with uh, 16 oh, or 16 20 gears? gears like that. Yeah. yeah, maybe just one more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the Aventador. All right. You used the seventh gear, definitely. Oh, it has a seventh gear? Yeah, yeah, seven. Oh, I'll have to try that one day. Anyway, guys, that was the fun in Germany today with the Countach and uh, making friends with Alex Hess here. Um, Alex, obviously, buying and selling cars all around. And there's no way I would have been able to make my dream come true uh, buying this car if well Ed hadn't introduced me to you and you weren't yeah, so wonderful. Yeah, th thank you for that. Yeah, Ed, <laughs> thank you. But um, for me it was nice. Obviously I trusted Alex in a big way um, and he's very nice. We made friends and uh, we even got to go on a trip together. So thank you. So I have to come over to to the U.S. Oh yeah, US. we're gonna do we're gonna you do United States here. stuff. We're gonna shoot guns and drive sprint cars. You yeah. got damn right we are. I, I need to see these sprint cars with that let's say interesting concept they build it yeah <laughs> never heard about any kind kind of car build it like that not understandable you made it sound like they thought about it before they did it <laughs> I they don't thought think about so. it i don't think so it, it just kind of happened put a thousand horsepower in there and <laughs> too cheap to put a differential in so we're gonna make one tire bigger than the other one it's gonna be all right and done sticks we're gonna put a cowboy hat on it yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And the second one in front of it. Yeah, well, little cowboy hat for the little wheels in the front. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. See you guys. Greetings. Bye. Hello from bye Germany. Bye. Cheers.